Take it to me. Rolling. Hi, I am Dylan Greer, the president of the NCDA, and I am here with Captain Ryan Ginsberg from Ohio State, our March Baller of the Month. Ryan, congratulations. How does it feel to be a winner? Thanks. It feels great knowing that I was recognized as the best player from the month of March, including a huge tournament award where there were a bunch of teams there. And it also means that our team played well because you really can't win this award unless your team performs well. So it's like a huge shout out to just our team as a whole that we were able to play well against some tough opponents and be recognized as me the best player and our team played well. Yeah, I agree. Are there any specific moments looking back at the award that you think led to people voting for you for this for this award? I definitely think the UC game was a big part of it, especially because we lost in the title game a week before and they were ranked number one. That was a game we, we, we really wanted. And I think it really showed that we were right up there with the top teams in the league. And I think it really bumped us up in some people's mind. And also UNL had a few good moments. Uh, right before half, I had four kills in a row, which led us to win a point right before half and really put that game to bed. So. I think those are two of the biggest moments that led me to getting this award. Yeah, certainly. I really enjoyed at the end of the first half versus UNL when you were yelling at your team to give you all the balls and you got, what, five kills in the last 30 seconds yeah, to end the point? Yeah. yeah, that was really awesome to watch. You definitely deserve it after seeing that And it's a huge, huge shout out to our team knowing that we're, we're able to trust anyone on the court that if they know I'm hot, they'll give me a ball. And I know if I'm hot and someone else on our team's on fire, they'll get balls. You see it all the time with our team. If someone's on fire, they'll get three, four kills in a row all the time just because of how many arms we have in the talent and how much we trust each other. Yeah. One of my favorite things about your individual performance at the war was the uh, the result that you came home with. Do you want to share what happened in the first game and what you played through and then uh, what you went through uh, going back home afterward? Yeah, and, um, in our first game against Miami, um, we, were, we uh, dropped the first point, which led to our starters playing. Then the second half, I got hit, opted in the pinky, and it broke my pinky. I knew right away that it was broken. It uh, bruised up right away. So I knew I was up. Show it. Oh. <laughs> so it's still quite posted. Oh, no. um, uh, but I knew right away that we had huge games after. We were getting towards the end of the season, so I knew we couldn't drop any more games. So I told our other captains, like, I'm out the rest of this game. I'm going to be able to figure this out. So I knew it was broken. I, went to, I just went to tape it up, knowing that's really all you can do when you have a pinky injury. So I taped it up, took some catches. It hurt a little bit, but I knew how to get through it and help our team win games, which we did. Yeah. How did it feel sitting out during the majority of the tournament last last week or two weeks ago? It sucked, but I know it's a definitely a good learning uh, curve for our teammates. Just to, they get more chances, more opportunities to make plays, and we almost had it. We got off to a slow start, but I don't think it's because I was out. We just didn't play well. But in the second half, we really showed what we can do, even if I'm not on the court. We played a lot of energy, played quick, and made some plays. And I think it's, it gave other, uh, other players confidence that they could be trusted to make big plays and big, big moments. Yeah, a key moment for me, watching your performance specifically, was at the end of the first half versus, o for, versus Ohio, when there was one player left, time was running out, and you guys caught a timeout and you subbed yourself in to, to get the last person out. How did you feel? What was going through your mind when that happened? Uh, we were down 3-0 at that point, and we had it down to like three people, like two minutes left. And I knew in my mind that we wanted any chance to win the, uh, the game, that we had to get that point, bring some momentum in the half. And a two-point game is a lot easier to come back from than a three-point game where you just didn't close out a point that you know you should have had. So it was like a 5v1 or 6v1. We had like two throwers in. I'm confident our team that we could have gotten out eventually, but I wanted to make sure that we had as much firepower as we did. I put my hand behind my back to make sure I didn't make it any worse. And I got the kill at the end, which we really needed. And it really pushed us to be able to force that game to go to overtime. I think it gave our team a lot of confidence that, hey, we're in this. Yeah, sub yourself in with one arm and still got the kill to end the half. It's awesome. So looking back, you've had some other struggles throughout the season. Other than your pinky, you broke your thumb on your dominant hand. Yeah. Walk us through kind of What's been going on through your mind this season? You know, you've been battling some injuries. How have you really like mentally fought it out and what's been your, your whole mindset throughout all of it? Um, early on, it sucked because it was our first game of the year. The same kind of deal, we were playing Cleveland State first and we were up five nothing already. I was only in the game to make, like, to help our teammates learn. I was just blocking for them, showing what it was like, like how to support each other, what to do. So I was just in there basically as a supporting role at that point. And I was talking to someone, like kind of walking through, I was blocking for him. And I looked the wrong way for a second, I got thrown at it and it jammed my thumb back and I broke it. And immediately I couldn't grab a ball. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to throw the rest of the game. We had Ohio up next and Akron after. And I was going to the year, I knew we were gonna be good. Even if we were powering like eighth, I knew we were better than that. So I really wanted to make a statement on our home court. And I knew I was out, but I knew we had the players. We moved a rookie, Nick Hemmer, to the right side because I was gonna play there originally, but we moved him over and he made plays immediately, one rookie of the month. So I think that what got me through it was 
knowing that it was a learning opportunity for our team. That it really kind of showed maybe we didn't have the right plan to start the year with me in the right corner and Nick with Ethan in the left corner. So I think it really gave our rookies a chance to grow, and I think they've grown faster because of it. Now we have Nick and Alden in one corner, and they're, I, I would say, one of the top right corners in the league. They make plays, catches, run people down. They do it all, and we couldn't be ha happier to have them as rookies and how fast they've developed. So I think knowing that it's helped our team in other ways with me being out, even if it meant an extra loss or two, it, I think it's going to mean an extra win or two come this weekend. Yeah, you guys have certainly grown a lot with your rookies. You can tell how much more they're standing up now than they did at the beginning of the year, getting some more confidence, and it's all coming from good leadership, so good job. Kind of looking back throughout your whole career, you know, you were the NCDA's first ever Rookie of the Month, September 2019, and now your senior year, your last tournament is in four days, Nationals. Um, you know, how it's come full circle. How would you summarize really everything? Looking back, uh, you know, you went through the COVID year, you've gone through some injuries. How would you summarize all of it all? I think it's just been about this team growing. When I joined in 2019, we were kind of like a middle of the pack team. We really weren't up there with the rest of the teams yet. So my goal since I joined was to just help this team win because that's all I've ever wanted to do. I'm a super competitive person. So when I walked on that court my first tournament, all I basically knew was catch because I didn't have much of an arm back then. So I knew when I played next to Ben Johnson, someone I love playing with, I was there to protect him and catch. So that's what I did. It's, it was a lot at first, but you get used to it. It's I just love how this team, like this team has grown. Like my freshman year, I've heard before my freshman year that we were not very good. And then my freshman year, we were making strides towards being a top 10, top five team and then COVID cut us short. And then during COVID, we lost some players we thought we had back, we would have back. So last year was just kind of about growing into getting to becoming a contender, which we almost got there, but we, we eventually fell a little bit short. Maybe we should have enough firepower. But I think this year we have a real chance to make it far. So I, I would say my career has just been doing what I can as a leader and as a player to help watch this team grow and become a contender. And I think I've left this team in a good place where next year we're gonna be right up there, including this year too. Yeah, certainly, I agree. What are your plans after graduation? I heard you may be sticking around. Do you have a job lined up? Where are you staying? I'll, I'll be staying in Columbus. I have a job lined up in uh, New Albany, Ohio. It's like 20 minutes from here. So I'll be living right off campus. And I'm gonna stick around this team, coach when I can, whatever they want me to do if they want me to be like a super hands-on coach, and I'll be laid back. Whatever they want, I'm, I'm here to help this team. And I want to see this team succeed. Even when I'm gone, I want this team to win championships for the next few years, because I think they can. With the talent we have and the talent we can recruit, this team can be really good for a really long time. Yeah, certainly. It's a good mentality to have as a leader. And coming up in four days, you know, Nationals, your last tournament, how you feeling going in? Do you guys think you have a good chance to win it? I think we have a, I think we have a good chance. I feel really good. I think our whole team feels really good. We uh, had a really good half against Ohio at uh, Miami, even if we lost the game. I think that last half really was like our stride when we needed to go into nationals and play how, play how we know we need to play to win some games. I think we could beat anyone in this league. I don't think there's anyone that we're screwed against. So I think if we go in confident, we can make a run and however long it goes, I think we can go all the way. Yeah, certainly. Well, Ryan, congratulations. This is your March Baller of the Month. Thank you.